I want to show you how to make a basic pancake batter. And uh, for this, you need to have four ounces of sifted flour and a pinch of salt in a bowl, nice roomy bowl, and make a well in the centre and put two large eggs in. Put the bowl on something to keep it steady and then start to whisk with an electric hand whisk. If you haven't got one of these, of course, you can use a wooden spoon or a fork, but you'll just have to work a bit harder, I'm afraid. When it begins to get thick like that, you start to add some liquid, and I've got here seven fluid ounces of milk, which is going to go in gradually. And I've got one more ingredient, and that's water. Three fluid ounces of water, but before I add that, I'm just going to go around the edge of the bowl with a spatula just to reincorporate any little dry lumps of flour that have got stuck round the edges so that they can come into the centre and be taken care of. And so in goes the three fluid ounces of water. And as soon as it's got the lumps out of it, it's ready. A lot of people talk about um, batter in cookery books, saying that you have to let it stand. But I've tried making pancakes, and indeed Yorkshire puddings, um, and letting the batter stand, and I found it makes no difference. So just make the batter whenever it's convenient.